Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Pepsi Garcia, and I have here Melissa from Baking with Melissa. Um, before I step off and let her have her stage, I'm just going to, again, go through the quick announcements. Uh, as you all know, October is coming to an end, and this is the last week for the flavor of the month, which is the mango filling. Um, filling, and then also you can bake with it, so it's the last week. Um, in addition to that, we have the chocolate special that's ending, the pretzels, the Brill White Buttercream, uh, the Colored Buttercream, the Peter's Caramel, the box mix, the Fillsbury box mix that we also now have um, new flavors added to our inventory, and then the Satin Ice, the 20 pound white bucket. Okay, so take advantage of those while they last because it's only till next Wednesday. Uh, and then we have a special event this Saturday, which is for kids. If you have, you know, little children, uh, bring them in at 11 a.m. from 11 to 2. We're going to do a Halloween special baking and decorating with them. Fun. Um, which, not baking, sorry, just decorating. Um, and if they can wear their costumes, that'll be super cool. Um, it's a $50 fee, which includes all the tools that they're going to require as in addition to snacks and drinks for the children and you know that that's fun right yes um, <laughs> as she specializes in parties so um, we all know how that goes and during the event they're going to be playing the nightmare before christmas um on right there for fun. for the kids to have fun Alrighty. Um, next week's demo, I'm going. To, it's Ivory and I will be doing the puff pastry Halloween theme, and then November calendar will be printed this week. We already have it all up. It's already um, posted. Um, it's right there, as you can see. Uh, super excited to see that Christina will be coming back on the 17th of November. She's going to be hosting us an, another master's class, also only for forty dollars, and you can sign up for that one online. And also, the classes are going to continue to be free for the month of November. Same Lovely. as October. Fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need her energy. <laughs> <laughs> Same as this month, just with the $25 deposit that you can apply to anything in the store. Um, and then the class is free. Okay? Cool. So I'm going to step aside and let Melissa do her thing. I will pop in and out as she needs me. But... Um, she doesn't need me. <laughs> she doesn't need me. That's oh. funny. Well, hello, everyone. I'm Melissa from Baking with Melissa. I specialize in kids baking for bakeries, so I'm a local company. I travel all over Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. I bring the dishes, the ingredients, and the fun to your house. I set everything up, and I fully engage all the children in a from scratch baking experience in their own home, usually for birthday parties. And then when it's all complete, I pack everything up, take it all away, and mom and dad are like, that was the best party ever, because you didn't have to do anything except pay me. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I yeah, approach the nice. baking <laughs> aspect of demonstrations especially, I always want to bring things of value to you that you can take home and do with your family. Not the most complicated things, that stress you out, you have to have 15,000 ingredients and tools, the things that you can make with your kids or your grandkids or the neighbor kids, whoever. So one of the things that I have recently gotten into is edible cookie dough. Now, I know we all know we've made cookie dough all these years, right? And we know that cookie dough is always edible. You just eat it, right? But when the whole thing that you are making is cookie dough, you want to do a couple of little things to just ensure that it's safe and healthy for you. So today we're making an edible cookie dough and it's going to be safe. And how, how do you make cookie dough safe? Well, one, we're not going to have eggs in there, but we also are using flour that has been heat treated. And the easiest way to heat treat some flour is to stick it in a bowl in a microwave for 30 seconds, mix it up, put it back in the microwave for about 30 seconds take it up, mix it up, and do 30 more seconds. So now you have heat-treated flour that can't be contaminated with bacteria. Not that all flour is, but there's always a chance that some bacteria has gotten on flour. You're going to eat a whole bowl of cookie dough, which I highly suggest. Uh, you just want to take that precaution. So today we're going to make an edible cookie dough, and we're starting off with one cup of softened butter. And we're going to Come over here to our little mixer. What did you say? Say it 
Oh, <laughs> so I can repeat. <laughs> oh, my granddaughter, she's 12, and she makes the... Oh, oh really? She, yeah. She YouTubes everything. Yeah, Have you ever heard so of the flower? I've never heard that. She she schooled me today on this. So. I schooled you. That's funny. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to put in, let's see, one and a fourth cup of brown sugar. All right. And a fourth of a cup of white sugar as well. And then we're going to mix that all together. Yeah, 12 year olds are my people. You know, five to 12 usually. <laughs> Although I do actually do events with ladies night out with wine and cupcakes or whatever else, you know? So one of the beauties is I just show up and bring everything and then make all the magic happen that way. So we're gonna just mix it up like you would a regular old cookie dough. And then I always tell people whenever you're making this kind of dough that you're not baking, make sure you're using a high quality vanilla. And there are many different qualities of vanilla and Patsy over here says this one is her favorite, <laughs> so I decided I will just try it. And you can see it's clear. Oh, can yeah. you tell us a little bit about this? Do you sell it here? Yes. Or, yeah, what is it? Um, it's pure vanilla. It's the Damien product. Um, I like it because it's small and it's compact and it's white. Um, and it's not too empowering as the artificial flavor as usually others are. That's why I like That's it. That's why she likes yeah. it. I love to use a vanilla bean paste. That's my favorite. Once I oh yes. Once I discovered the difference between vanilla extract and a paste, there, I mean I can't go back. I'm, I'm messed up forever. So, amaretti. Amaretti. Yes, I use amaretti oh, all yes. the time. They they have it in a container like this, or I get it like this. I use so much of it with a lid, and you just take a little bit out and drizzle it in, and it smells like heaven. And you can see all the little black beans in there. Really lovely. All right, so um, I well, I follow them on Instagram, Amaretti, but I, I oh, they have a website as well. It's, I think it's just amaretti.com. And here's the oh, I'm going to tell you my favorite secret. When you go on their website, you know how sometimes little click up ads will come up and like sign up for the email address. If you do that, you'll get a 30% off coupon, which makes vanilla way more affordable. Because I don't know. If, I'm guessing some of y'all are bakers out there and you know that vanilla is ridiculously priced right now. So 30% off of vanilla bean paste is amazing. All right, so now we're going to move on and put our flour in. And I just wanted to make sure that I knew how much flour. Yeah, two cups, two cups of flour. That's what we're putting in. Now we'll mix that in. Of the heat treated flour. The heat treated flour. So we already did, well. We did that prior. Yeah. So I was like all excited. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yes. So right before we got done, we started this live, I started telling everybody a little bit about my life. Both of my parents, mom and dad, were actually in the Air Force. We moved every two years or less. And I, I mean, I lived everywhere. And I, people will always say, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, Oh, nice. I have a trophy wall. I've never been competitive in my whole life, but I started this this competition stuff with the um, public speaking and started winning trophies, and now I'm like, oh, I love winning. <laughs> winning is fun. I never experienced that before, and now I have all these trophies for that. And then uh, several years ago, I just started trying to think, how can I create something that I love in my life to be my job? Because I wasn't happy doing all the random things that I was doing in life. And then I just started dreaming up, like, what do I love? What am I good at? And that's when my business started coming to life. I have been teaching acting and cooking and baking to kids in after school programs and summer camps for years and years and years. And then I also used to 
get hired as a princess to go to birthday parties. Like Cinderella shows up to your party. That was me. The Little Mermaid. That was me. <laughs> and I started watching all these ladies and thinking, how these women who own the companies, I kept thinking, they're brilliant. They charge all this money, and I show up to their house. They make money off of me showing up to their house. And then I thought, how can I be the princess? but not have to worry about being too old to be the princess. <laughs> so I thought, well, why not create a party company that was a lot like the princess company, but instead I'm bringing value and teaching something to the children instead of just face painting and being pretty. So that's how I started dreaming of my little business. And then I just kept dreaming bigger and bigger, created a website, created social media. And then all of a sudden, one day, after about a year, suddenly everybody that would say, oh, what do you do? I would say, oh, I do baking parties for children, in-home parties all over Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. I told them, I told anybody that would listen, that's what I did. And then after about a year of just telling everybody that, the first mama called. And I was like, oh my gosh, somebody's actually calling. I'm going to have to do this. What am I going to do? I don't know. And then I figured it out. And now I pay all my bills making cupcakes for children, which is like a dream come true. I, I so. hate to interrupt you, yes. um, but on your feed, you have um, Marcia Javier from yes. Brazil watching you. Hi, from Brazil. Oh, I love Brazil. I've actually been there. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So she's really excited. Yeah. Um, and then we had another question. The first ingredient was butter. Yes. It First was no, unsalted butter, butter mm -hmm. and yes, you can purchase all these items in the store. Yes. And the recipe, we will post it later. Yes. All right, so we mixed all of our cookie dough together. I was going on a tangent about my life story. Pretty soon you're going to know everything. Um, and so I decided since it's Halloween, we're going to kind of go with a Halloween theme. Because kids, Halloween, fun. So we've got some of this orange little chocolate. melt, the melty chocolate, you can buy it here. In fact, we have it in orange and the chocolate. And one of the things that I wanted to do before I started do you want me to melt doing more? other stuff, no, this is good, thank you okay. so much, is I wanted to go ahead and drizzle some of the chocolate on my cups, okay? So you can do it in different ways. You could take a little spatula, let's see if I can yeah, and drizzle it down. Where are the stupid tasting spoons? The tasting spoons. Oh, what are you fixing to make? What am I fixing to make, Mark Kelly? I'm going to tell you. We're making some <laughs> cookie dough, but it's edible cookie dough. So we, we spoke earlier about using heat-treated flour, which you would just put the flour in the microwave for about a minute and a half total. All right. And here we go. Another time. Which one should we do now, chocolate or orange? What do you think? Half and half. I love that idea. Can I have uh, a paper towel, please? All right, I'm going to put some down more. Chocolate is really, really good. All right. I love that somebody just put Southern in a, in a message on Instagram. What you fixing to make? Good. How about that? Is that good? All right, so we're gonna get these drying, hopefully. Drying and drizzling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Too much is always better. All right. So I'm gonna place that up there and let it dry. 
You're going to have chocolate drips on your camera. That's okay. <laughs> we'll leave it for Ivory. We'll deal with that later. Who wants to taste some? Ooh, nobody. Nobody wants to try that. All right. That's why we're here in person. Yes. Am I? Is my mic? Wait, something's wrong with it. Oh, something's wrong with my mic. Nobody can hear me. If I could tell you more secrets. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> Woo! All right. Yeah. All right. So you can find, 
You can find my baking adventures on social media if you're on there. Baking with Melissa is on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Yelp and, and probably everywhere else. So, okay, so we've got our black dough and we have our orange dough and now I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with it. All right, other than just eat it. Now, my first recommendation is find a bowl, put some in, get a spoon, and sit in front of Netflix and just watch and eat. Netflix and chill? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So we have these cupcakes here that, oh, did you know that you could buy already made cupcakes here? They're frozen. That's brilliant. So you can look like you, you worked so hard and you didn't. You just bought them and then you decorated them and made them look amazing. So that is a nice little trick if you just want to do some cupcake decorating without baking, buy cupcakes here. <laughs> now I wanted to do this two different ways. One. I wanted to do it where I show you how to fill the cupcake with cookie dough. So a lot of times there's, there's cupcake cores that you can use, but I like to just sometimes use my large star tips, punch it in, pull it out, take your little toothpick here, pull out the cake, eat it. <laughs> Look how silly I am. And then you can take, and I don't have a tiny little spoon, so we're going to pretend pretend my my hands don't have dough on them and I'm just gonna punch the punch it into the center now normally one would say go ahead and just put the top back on but I ate it so we can't do that <laughs> so that is one way and I'm gonna frost it here in a moment but another way to do that you could punch it out of course like this and then you could just take a scoop of your cookie dough See, I'm not even in the cameras anymore. Hey! All right, good thing I can see my monitors. There we go. Hi, everybody. All right, and then you could just take the scoop and place it right onto the cupcake. <laughs> now, this is how I like my frosting. More frosting than cupcake. All right, and then you can have maybe place some little decorations. I got these little rings that are ed not edible, but that's kind of cute, don't you think? It's a giant cookie dough cupcake. And it's filled with cookie dough as well. So that is one example. Where shall I put it? Right there until I need that. And then um, we could also fill it with cookie dough, which I like to do. And does somebody want to eat this one? You do, don't you? OK, I'm going <laughs> off camera. Pull it out. Taste it. It's so good. You wouldn't even know. This doesn't taste like it's from a box. It tastes like a real good cupcake. All right, and this time I'm going to fill it with some black dough, some of the black chocolate chip dough. You could also fill your cupcakes just like I showed you with sprinkles. I do that with kids all the time, and then they bite into their cupcake, and sprinkles just fall out. It's like magic happens. It's so wonderful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this other one, too, just for fun. Oh, my goodness. You need to try it, too, don't you? Yes, somebody in the front row does, because I can't reach any further back than that. So somebody try this one. Okay, you can, you can have it again. He's getting, he's getting seconds. <laughs> and we'll put some orange dough in that one. It's good, isn't it? Mm. So truth be told, I eat a lot of sugar. I do. I only, I only like to bake things that I want to eat. So like, for example, I hate coconut. When people ask me to make anything coconut, I'm like, mm, no. Because I want to sample it, you know? Uh. I don't know. Okay, so we have we have some cookie dough filled cupcakes right now. And now we're gonna just make some frosting. Now I always make my own buttercream frosting, but did you know you could buy it in a container already made here? And it's just buttercream. What's in your buttercream, do you know? No, this one's um brill. Brill. This is the one that's on sale also. So um, until the end of oh, the Oh yeah. Yeah. But it's a shortening base. It's shortening base. So most of my mine isn't shortening base, it's yeah. butter. I just use butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, and some milk. That's it, because I use salted butter for my frosting. Most people don't, but I do. So we got this already made deliciousness happening here. So we will go ahead and it smells I love 
<laughs> this is one of my little secrets. I actually love sheet cake from the grocery store. <laughs> love it. And that's what this frosting smells like to me is sheet cake frosting from the grocery store. Perfect. All right. Do y'all, do you want me to come to your house now and have a party with you? <laughs> so they she, say that- She does adult parties. I do, a, yeah, I do adult parties, but not adult no, parties. No, not adult yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> bacon, <laughs> bacon Don't you wine. be spreading rumors about me now. <laughs> All right, so I put some food coloring in. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> put some food coloring in. I think I want it to be a little bit more orange than this. And then we're going to just pipe some frosting on the top. Any questions over there? No, everybody's just waving at us right now. Yeah. Of course, we can't see if my mama is on Facebook Live right now because I can't see Facebook. But no. if my mama is watching, hi, mama. She, she actually lives in North Carolina, my mom does, and she was hit by all that hurricane nonsense. She had to evacuate her place for 20 days. Really? Yes, and then she came home, and when she was evacuated, she wasn't told she might be gone for 20 days, and also the electricity would be out for 16 days. I'm telling your story, Mom. You're probably going to kill me later, but that's okay. Well, so the electricity was out for 16 of those 20 days. And her freezer and refrigerator was completely full of stuff. So my mama doesn't have a refrigerator anymore because they tried cleaning it. Oops. They tried cleaning it and they could not get whatever came to life in there while she was gone. So anyway, she lives on a little island, so it takes a while to be able to get things onto the island. So she was saying that they have this little college dorm size refrigerator. <laughs> wow. And she's like, well, we have we have a little you know, a little thing of milk, some beer from a stepdad, because he likes his beer, and then some water, and then she said, and a little piece of cheese. <laughs> I feel so sorry for her. But, all right. See, I told you I was going to tell you stories, Mama. All right. If you're watching, I might be talking to nobody. I don't know. All right. So we have our frosting. You saw how I did this. I just opened it up, placed the frosting in the piping bag. I pull up the sides. Give it a little twist, push it down. And I always tell my little ones, when you're squeezing, squeeze from the top where there is no frosting and not down here. Little kid hands always go right here. And then the frosting goes up and down and you get a big mess. So I'll show you first a technique that I like to show kids, okay? Because it's very easy and then they can create a really pretty cupcake. And that is just with a star tip. That's what I have in here. And I'm just going to press, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift all around. So they get to create kind of what I think looks like a magical looking cupcake. And they're six years old and can create something that looks like that. Just something really pretty and simple. And then sometimes we'll do like layers on top of that. Just squeezing and lifting. That's it. And then look how pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then, of course, we need some... A little sprinkle action, or a lot of it. <laughs> and because I have it, we're just going to put a bat on this one too. And then we have this. Look, they're almost the same, except there's more cookie dough in this one. Yes. Hello, the people who just joined. Hello. And I'm even getting a phone call right now. I can see. I don't know who it is, but I can see it on my phone right now. It's probably spam. All right, and then, <laughs> and then we're going to just do a normal little swirl around to you. Just swirl, 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 up. There we go. What do we put on that? A gravestone? Yes. That's uh, so we sad. We have a couple mm -hmm. comments. What's um, that? One person said that they had no idea they had to reheat um, um, Pre Yeah, to heat, the heat the flour. treat the flour if you're having edible cookie dough. Here's another one. And then sweet treats. S, I'm sorry, BYB says they, you are too cute and I love your energy. Oh, I'm so cute! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> I love hearing that today. Thank you. You just made my day. <laughs> da, da, da. I don't know why. I, I am a little excited right now. <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. Can you tell? This is, this is, this is what makes me who I am in the world. Like, I, if I feel like I'm making a difference in some way, then I feel like 
it's worth it. So. If you didn't hear, somebody <laughs> just said it, that she was depressed when she came in. And now she's not. That makes me happy. All right, so now we need a scoop of the black dough, too, right? So you just put a little bit of buttercream to hold it in? I just filled it in with buttercream. Oh, I'm doing the opposite okay. now, because why not, right? Ooh, and it has a little orange on there, left over from the other side. And then I was thinking maybe just add some more chips on there. Yeah. Are you cleaning this up later? I agree. <laughs> Yay, somebody else is. <laughs> so my dream would be, oh, if I could just be on a, on a show where somebody else preps everything. And then I just make the magic happen. Then I'm like, all right, time for lunch. And off I go. That would be amazing. But right now with my kid parties, I prep everything. I do the entertainment. And then I have to go home and wash all the dishes. So it takes many, many hours. But I'll tell you one thing, when you finally figure out what you're supposed to be doing in the world, it all just makes sense and everything flows in your direction. So when people meet me, sometimes they'll just say, oh, you're like a, a ray of sunshine or whatever. And it's just that I tapped into my purpose in the world and I'm finally happy with my life and the way it looks. So. And I get to, I get to, literally, I make cupcakes with children and I can pay my rent in Los Angeles. <laughs> that is something to be proud of. <laughs> All right, so now we waited a few, few moments and we have our little cones that we dipped in chocolate. And they're, they're stuck. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> they're stuck, but you know, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, if you know, if you can do it. So then we will take, see, this is, this is, this is magic. Hi, I see you. Somebody, hello, somebody I see say you. Help hello. You. Oh, hello. Probably. Yeah, there, it wasn't help. It's just hello. <laughs> okay, help, can you come to San Diego and help? Okay, so now I'm just doing a cookie scoop, like an ice cream cone, right? And this cookie dough over here looks like it should be pumpkin. I don't know. Look, ugh. Oh. So when I do my parties also, I like to imagine that I'm channeling my inner child. So when, when I have the frosting and the sprinkle tables, it is like candy land on there. It's all vibrant and pretty and cute and big. So I know that you shouldn't give a child this much, but for, for visual purposes, <laughs> let's go ahead and, ahead and have three scoops. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I think, I think we have claim dibs on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So look at this beauty. Oh, my goodness. Do we put anything else on it? Like a bat? Because I have it. <laughs> That's okay. If you can't get it out, it's not a problem. But look, I think that we need somebody take a picture of this and text me. <laughs> look how pretty this is. Look. Aw. Okay, I'm going to pose over here. Uh, Thank you. I was, I, yeah, you took a couple there because we got to get the right, the right angles. <laughs> okay. Do you ever see photos of yourself? But seriously, do you ever see photos of yourself and you're like, oh, but then you just slightly move your head and the next one you're like, that's the one. I like so fantastic there. Yeah. So some, some, one side of my side isn't as, as fun as the other side of my side. So, all right. So we now have some more cookie dough here. We need to scoop that up. Now you can see, it doesn't take much time. It's an easy treat that you can just make. And I would not suggest that you feed a six-year-old something that big, but it looks really pretty. And this is also something, say you were going to have a birthday party, but you didn't want to hire someone like me to come to your birthday party. You could set this up as a station where kids can come up to the station and follow a simple recipe like the flour and sugar. With this recipe, you can, it doesn't have to be this way. You could divide it in four and have four little stations where kids come and mix their own dough and they could dip things in, you know, chocolate and sprinkles and you create a really fun activity that they can do mostly unsupervised. They're not in the kitchen. They're not chopping things. They're not having to worry about heating up anything. And you could just pre pre set it up for them for the party. And of course, it doesn't have to be black and orange for Halloween. You can make it much prettier. Like, I don't know, I'd probably go for pink or just regular color. Pinks, purples, or even just a regular color, maybe. All right, so then we have this little cone. Look how delicious it is. Don't you want to eat that? 
Nobody's saying yes. <laughs> I need cookie dough. Come to San Francisco Bay, stat! Oh. Fine. I'll come, why not? I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> all right, so now we have this one. Look at all this dough. All right, so I'm gonna just show all the cameras what we have. Da 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 da. Da. Where's another one? Oh, hey, hello. There we go. I I've been I haven't been focusing on this camera over here. All right. So then we have that. We have our cookie dough stuffed cupcakes with cookie dough on top, or cookie dough stuffed cupcakes with frosting on top. All of these you can do very easily with your kids at home and or other people in your in your life what what would you like to ask uh, or no well so shortly everybody's asking for the recipe okay so you want to say yeah okay. so are you ready get your pens and papers out get ready da -da 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 -da. drum roll please okay first thing is one cup of butter softened now I personally would use salted butter but you don't have to you can use unsalted and add salt. If you're going to add salt, add a fourth of a teaspoon of salt to your butter. Hi. Then you want to do one and one fourth cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup. Oh, am I going too fast? Slow down, Melissa. Slow down. A fourth of a cup of regular granulated sugar. And then a teaspoon of vanilla or a little bit more. I like that, but I would prefer to use like uh, a vanilla bean paste instead of an extract, but most people have extract at home and that is perfect as well. But when you're eating something raw like this, the higher quality vanilla you use, the better it is for you in the end. And then you're going to get to that heat treated flour and there's two cups of that. And as I said in the beginning, if you're just joining us, hi, I see people just joining us, like I just said, they might be. They look delicious. I wish you were here too. Thank you. Um, with the heat treated flour, what you want to do is put it in a bowl, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds, take it out, mix it up for a few seconds, put it back in about 30 seconds, mix it up, put it back in for about 30 seconds, mix it up. And this is going to help kill any bacteria that might be in the flour. You can't guarantee there is any or isn't any, so it's just a precaution to make sure you're not gonna get a whole bunch of people sick by feeding them raw cookie dough. And that's all. Now I will tell you, I have eaten a lot of cookie dough in my life and I have not been sick, but we also don't wanna take that risk when we're feeding other people. If I got sick because I food poisoned myself, which I have done before, but not from baked goods, Yes, I did. I could tell you that story once we aren't live anymore. Because <laughs> food sickness is not fun. Uh, but it is, it is just a good idea to just take care of your people. Don't get them sick. So again, my name is Melissa. I own a kids baking party call, business called Baking with Melissa in Los Angeles. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and Yelp and Twitter and everywhere else. If you can, you can Google me and you'll just find little kids and cupcakes and pink costumes. So thank you so much to everyone for joining us on Instagram, on Facebook, and here in our studio audience. I appreciate you all being here today and we'll see you next time, right? Yay! Thank you! Now who needs to eat some cookie dough, right? Yes, I know. We, I know I put it in here, so for those that don't want to get a cupcake or what have you, um, but I honestly feel like we need to bring back Melissa sometime. Yes. I want to come back. Please. So um, hopefully, maybe, you know what? We'll work it out. We'll work it out. <laughs> we'll talk. Um, Bye. But thank you so much for taking your time and coming here and joining us, watching us on live. It'll be on 24 hours for IG and then Facebook, YouTube, and Melissa's Facebook and YouTube also. It'll be yeah. on forever until we delete them, which will be never. Never. Um, you can catch her at LA Cookie Con almost every year. Mm -hmm. um, February 2nd and 3rd, right? Yeah. This year? 3rd and 4th this year? Yeah. So that's good. It's not Valentine weekend. Um, yeah, it's not Valentine. It's, it's my Super birthday weekend? weekend, though. It's my birthday weekend. Well, then the wives go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, at, at the Cookie Cons and stuff, I, I have a kid's cookie decorating station where you can bring your kids into 
the event and they can decorate cookies with me for free in my big cartoon kitchen booth. It's uh, very fun. She's been on KTLA News, um, Melissa Hallmark is... Channel, Lifetime, Food Network. I've been ever, I've been all over the place, but I have bigger dreams, y'all. I, I actually, I'm just going to say it out loud because I don't ever tell people this, but I recently, well, a little while ago, I'm going to move over so I can see myself go in my own camera. <laughs> I'm just going to tell the I world this right now. <laughs> you always have to find your light. I told y'all before that I, I got a degree in theater, so. Um, that a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, I, I had this vision and a dream to create a kids' TV show that has, but it's for kids in the baking, cooking, but but a younger audience, and it's not a competition reality show base. It's got puppets and animation and <gasps> Miss Melissa. And I am currently, at last summer I shot a little five minute sizzle for it, and I'm currently out in Hollywood now trying to shop it around. And I'm, my intention is to recreate family connection in the kitchen again with our little ones. That's cool. And every episode would have a recipe for everyone to do at home with their families later. And that's my bigger dream. And when I originally created my business, it was to be the platform for my big dream, which is a show to inspire kids and families to do things together in the kitchen, like we did when we were kids. Thanks. My grandma used to bake with me, but grandmas don't bake so much anymore. Some do. But the millennial mamas right now don't know how to bake, and well, not all of them. Please don't everybody get mad at me for saying that, but a lot of the moms I do parties for call and say, I don't know how to bake, but my child is really interested in, and can you come and help? So that's part of my mission out there is to help little kids be inspired to create with their hands and to think outside of the box and make their own magic happen. And so. we could say that we had her here first. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Bye. All right, let's, let's